to my room? Jeez, you don't shave your legs for one month and suddenly you're a sir. I haven't even looked at your legs yet. Ravi Ross, a pleasure. You must be Miss Gladys, the proprietor. Thank you for letting Mrs. Kipling come to camp. I assure you, the odds of her eating any campers are very remote. I would still hide the bite-sized kids. Aren't there supposed to be four of you? Our brother Luke got stuck in summer school. Probably because he can't spell either of those words. Check clear, don't care. Sign in with my niece. Hazel, these are the Rosses. I met your parents right here when we were 16. Your dad was a stone-cold fox. <gasps> Could have gone my whole life without hearing that. My aunt's always talking about your mom. She hates her. With every bone in my body, including my artificial hip. I loved your father, but your mom stole him from me. Plus the title of best counselor and any chance I ever had at having a happy life. No offense, but you guys are the worst welcoming committee ever. Note to self, start digging a skate tunnel tonight. By the way, phones aren't allowed at camp. Hand it over. Uh, no! Back off, mister! Attention, everybody. The groom would like to speak. Yeah! Really feels like he's making this day all about him, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, everyone. First off, I want to thank you all for this incredible celebration. This place and all of you are so special to Victoria and me. Which makes it bittersweet to know that we won't be a part of Kikiwaka Ranch next summer. But that's only because we have an amazing opportunity that we never would have had without the generosity of our friend, Lou Hawkhauser. Yeah! Lou, you and this camp changed my life. Heck yeah, you did. And I know I'm not the only one that feels that way. It's true. When I came to camp, I was an intense, perfectionist, overly ambitious kid. And now, I'm an intense, perfectionist, overly ambitious adult. <laughs> Who knows how to harness all of that to achieve anything she wants in life. And Lou, you and the camp gave me the confidence I needed to pursue my dreams, even when it was hard. And it's given me friendship that I know will keep supporting me, no matter what. He's, He's talking, talking about, about me. <laughs> Kiki Waka helped us grow up and prepared us for the world. It gave us lifelong friendships, made us braver. Camp allowed us space to figure out who we are away from home. And there would be no camp for us without you. So let's all raise a glass of sarsaparilla to Lou. To Lou! To Lou! You know, I was really worried about having to say goodbye to you guys. But look at us. We're too much a part of each other's lives to ever have it be a real goodbye. We're a family. And as long as I'm around this family, we'll always have a campfire to come back to. Okay, if y'all aren't careful, it's gonna make a cowboy get in touch with his feelings. <laughs> Biggest group hug ever? Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, make way. The marshal's getting in on this. Hey, is the time for gifts yet? Oh, sweetie, I think we open gifts after the party. Actually, ours is a little special. See, we couldn't think of what to get you guys. Then we thought, what's the one thing Parker and Victoria love as much as each other? And it finally came to us. Blenders! <laughs> no, Jake. Oh, right. Dance! <laughs> That's right, hit it, the marshal!
pretty amazing thing you've built. And it's only just begun.